Hello, my name is Edison. Welcome to another STM that two tutorial. And today I'll be showing you how to connect the Mac 7219 8x8 dot matrix to our STM that two using SPI communication. And uh, the way to connect uh, this model, we're going to connect VCC to five volts, and then uh, connect uh, ground to ground. And then we can have our D in pin or data in pin connect to our MOSI which is pin PA7 and then have uh, our clock connected to pin PA5 and then we have this chip select pin which is connected to PB6 so uh, by writing data to this module we are going to create patterns here that depict numbers and letters and they're also going to control the intensity of the LED. So let's now create our STM, that's to project. Go to a uh, file, new STM, that to project. And then I select the board that I'm using. So Nucleo F446RE. So click the board, click next, give my project a name, dot matrix 70 to 19, then click finish, then the first thing that I'm going to do is clear the pinouts, then go to system call under RCC, enable the clock source. Uh, from the ceramic uh, resonators. Also go to connectivity, SPI1. We're going to configure the SPI peripheral as half duplex master because we're only going to write to our display. So you see that we have pin PA5 as our serial clock and uh, uh, PA7 as our MOSI pin. And then go and uh, Select the prescaler to be 16 so that we can have a boot rate of 5.25 megabits per second. Then go to clock cells, select the HSE, and select this to be 84 megahertz. So then uh, from there, go and select our PB6 as output and uh, going to label this as our chip select pin and then uh, let's generate code so then go to source main dot c and uh, i have developed a library for this module so go ahead and add the two files to our project and then come here in user code begin includes and I include the max 17.h and uh, if we go to that header file you find that there are two functions the init function uh, that is meant to initialize our uh, max 72 module then come here uh, you find that there are commands that you're supposed to send so that we can initialize the uh, module so these are the commands and uh, maybe you can have a look at the data sheet and uh, you find we have commands that we need to configure so what is clearly stated here that on initial power up all control registers are reset so the display is blanked and uh, therefore the max 7219 enter shutdown mode so you have to program this display driver prior to display use okay so when you notice that the intensity of the brightness of the led is set to is set to uh, minimum so you have to configure the decode mode uh, and uh, in the decode mode you see that we set this to no decode for uh, digit 7 and 0 and you can see here the explanation 
is that when no decode is selected, the data bits D0 to D7 corresponds to the segment lines. Then from there we have the intensity. So for now, uh, you can set the intensity uh, from 0 to uh, 0 to F. Uh, but now it is set to minimum, so that will work fine. So for the scan limit, uh, we are going to work uh, with from 0 to 7. So we are going to write 7 to uh, this register uh, B. And then for the shutdown register format, we are going to write uh, normal operation. And uh, then you are going to set the display mode to uh, normal operation also. So you find that we have this uh, data that will be written for no operation. So we are going to send a zero to that register. And this is exactly what I have uh, done here. So the first is the register, the second one is the command. So we're going to say no decode mode, intensity is minimum, scan limit from 0 to 7, then we have the operation in the shutdown register set to normal, then set the display test register uh, to normal operation. So we have these choices. So uh, we have choice 0 to choice 39. And uh, based on the choice, you will display uh, the character of your choice. So if you have 1, you will display 0. If you have 2, you will display 1. So let's do this. So come here in user code begin to and uh, call this function to initialize the display. So max 7219 in it and then uh, we can call the display function so print uh, alphanumeric and you're going to uh, select choice 1 so from this you find that choice 1 is 0 so let's view the code and then let's download the code to our board And uh, when we resume, we will find that we have zero displayed. So we can select another number. So maybe we can have uh, W. So this is choice number 34. So if I make this 34, let's build and download the code to our board. you find that we have uh, X displayed. So you can uh, run through all the choices. So let's create a loop. So I'm going to have uh, an integer, um, character maybe number equals zero. So, and we say, come here to user code begin three. So we say four character number equals zero then we have to go to until it is 30 30 so the numbers are 30 39 so 39 then increment by one and then we're going to print our choice number or correct number and then you're going to uh, have some delay maybe 500 milliseconds and then let's build the code and see then build the uh, download the code to a board then uh, resume so 
and you can see that we uh, were able to print the numbers or display the alphanumeric and then the last pattern that we uh, that I had uh, created so you can also create your own patterns so for the intensity uh, I set to uh, minimum let me go and set it to maximum okay to do that I'm going to uh, set this to F in the intensity register so let's build the code and download the code to our board then let's resume you find that the intensity of the LEDs has increased so thank you for following up with me um, if you like the video please share subscribe and if you have any question uh, can you put it in the comment section and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.